In this lesson, we're gonna be learning I Get Around by the Beach Boys. <clears throat> Lots of cool parts in this. Um, I'm gonna show you kind of two different ways. I'm gonna show you how it's played on the original recording with electric guitar. Mostly um, power chords and stuff, palm muted, real tight. And then I'm gonna show you how to play the full chords in case you're playing acoustic um, to, so you can get more of that, <clears throat> the feel of the harmonic structure. <laughs> of the major and minor chords, because you don't get that with the power chords, but in the recording you get it, you know, with the rest of the instruments. So, let's start with the how, we'll take it a section at a time. So at the beginning, oh, for, let's talk about tone. It's pretty clean, I'm using a Strat with uh, my bridge and middle pickup combined, and I have a delay pedal on with the, uh, sh a shorter tape delay, and uh, if you had reverb, I don't have reverb on this amp, but if you have reverb, you know, you can crank the reverb and you'll get a good sound. Um, so that's where we're at with that. It's, it's, um, it's in G, but it does have a key change in it. It shifts up a half step, but let's start with the beginning. The beginning is a chorus acapella, okay? But there is this like that at the very beginning to start it off. And it's just a palm muted G power chord. And you kind of slide off and then hit again. And then the round round get around starts through all that, okay? The chord changes to that are G major to E major, A minor, F, D, okay? So that's, those are more of the chords you would play if you're playing acoustic guitar or by yourself. Um, you could hold those out in that acapella intro if you want to as just whole notes. Like that, okay? Uh, and then the band kicks in, okay? And this is, so the real part on the recording is power chord G and just eighth notes all downstrokes to E, power chord, to A, F, D. Okay, that's your chorus, okay? And then we, we go into the verse, okay? Now, if you're playing that on acoustic, you would play, you could play just the chords uh, down upstrokes. A minor. F. D. Okay, then we go to the verse, okay? The verse... Sounds like this. Whoops. Okay, so it's got this lick in it, all right? So this is gonna be played pretty much the same way on electric or acoustic. It's based out of A major now. So you're gonna go, you're gonna start with just a single note A on the fifth fret of the E string and then four to five on the A string. Then four to five on the E string. And then two Ds alone. So it's Then you kind of repeat that. And then we go into the riff. So one more time. And then we go. Okay, and that is uh, five seven on the A string, four on the D, to five on the D. Then you go seven five seven. So. Then four on the G. Then back to five on the D. Then five on the G. Then four on the G. So. Then five on the B. 
to seven on the G, and then it finishes four, seven. So. And then you're back into the verse. Same thing. And then we're back to the chorus there. Okay, so that so let's play a whole verse uh, real time. And we're back to the chorus. Now I'm heavily palm muting these notes, except for when they do the riff. Then, then I let go. But those, real, real palm muted, real staccato. Okay. Uh, so then, if you're if you're kind of lost, please pause, practice that. Look at the tab. If you're a little confused, um, get kind of caught up. Uh, so we go, after the verse, we go to another chorus, and then out of that chorus comes the solo and the bridge. Okay, we're going to cover the rhythm parts, and then we'll go back and cover the lead parts. Um, so the solo uh, bridge part coming out of the chorus goes, we have a little bit different rhythm thing here. It's, it's on E, E power chord. That's your first bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's two bars of E. Then it goes to A for two bars. Then D for two bars. Then A for two bars. Then E for one bar, F for one bar. Okay, now if you're playing on acoustic and you want to play the full chords, that would be E. an A7 to a D7 to an A7 to an E and an F. Okay, so that's that part. All right, then that leads us into the key change. So the key change um, goes up a half step so and it leads right into a verse so our verse is it's virtually the same you just move everything up a half step so coming out of that bridge uh, to our chorus with the key change. So it's the same thing, you're just moving it up a half step. So instead of going, starting on the five, you're starting on six. All of the fingering is the same. Okay, now we get into the key change of the chorus. It's gonna be G sharp, so all power chord here. That's the fourth fret E string to an F, then an A sharp. That's sixth fret here. F sharp, second fret, to a D sharp, sixth fret on the A string. Okay, so that chorus. Whoops, sorry. D sharp there. Okay, now we have a couple more bars of this little tag thing, and it's going to jump up to F here. And, it, and the rhythm is. 
Then you drop it back a whole step to D sharp. And then you land on A sharp, major chord, okay? And that leads us into another a cappella uh, pass through the chorus, okay? And then after that, it just repeats the chorus and fades out in that new key. Okay? Now, if you're playing full chords on this, it's going to be G sharp major bar chord to F sharp. Then this is A sharp minor bar chord. F sharp major, D sharp major, okay? And then you jump up here to F major. I'm sorry. And that's where the acapella thing is, okay? So that's all your parts for your rhythm section, okay? There's a couple parts I'd like to cover. I'd like to cover the solo, and I'd like to cover, there's a, a little lead thing in the uh, verse. So let's go back to the verse, the first verse, when we're in the key of A. Um, the first pass, nothing new, but after that, there's a high part that goes. And it's that simple. It sounds really cool on the recording though, but it's really easy to play. It's just nine to 10 on the B string, then nine to 10 on the, a str or the E string. It's the same thing as this, it's just higher. Same thing, just a few octaves higher. And then they do the same thing in the later verse that's a half step higher. You just move it up a half step. Okay, so that's that for that lead part. Really simple. Now, let's talk about the solo, and then we'll have this thing wrapped up. The solo is a little tricky, because it's, it's, uh, it's the rhythm of it that makes it tricky. Um, and it comes in on that, on that uh, bridge kind of solo thing. So when we go... Uh, when we go to the A7... The, the, it comes in about halfway through that bar, okay? And the first lick is... So it's all, well not all, the first few licks are A pentatonic minor, okay? Because we're over the A7. Then we go to the D, kind of messes, kind of highlights the D notes. He's, he's definitely highlighting the chords underneath, but that first lick so that's a double stop, the fives on the E and B string. Then you hit just the B string five. Then eight, five, eight on the B string, slight bend, like a little quarter bend, back to five on the E string. Okay, then at the very end of that bar, the last eighth note kind of leads us into the next lick. This is kind of the hardest part, I think, rhythmically. Okay, that's our next lick. So that starts with the five on the B string. Then we have a double stop, the sevens, D and G string. And then you jump down and do double stop, G and B string. Seven, fives, seven. And then seven, fives, seven by itself. So it's... kind of tricky. Okay, so we have Okay, then the next lick goes back to, so we're back to the A7 now and it's So 
So we got this little kind of different rhythm thing here. It's more swung. So it's five on the E string to eight. So it's five to eight, then five to eight on the B string with that slight bend. Then double stops on fives, E and B string. To a slight bend on the seven. And then it's se seven, five, seven, seven. Those are straight, so it's Okay, so, so far, slow, we have and that's the rest of the solo. Okay, so let's get to that. So after you do the You're going to come down here because we're back to the, we're still on the A. So you're going to do a double stop, 9 and 10 on the E and B strings. Real staccato hits there. And then you're going to put your third finger down on the 10th fret of the E string. And then you can come off, hit 9 and 10 again, single note. Then put your pinky on the 12th fret of the E string. Back to the 9-10. So it's... Okay, so in context... Okay, then when we go to the E, the E to the F to move into the key change, you have, let's see. So it's, it's, he's outlining an E major chord way up high here. So we got 14, and then you're going to play a little major triad, 14, 13, 12, okay? So first hit is just the 14, then you hit these three notes, D, G, and B strings. And you're going to roll your third finger over and bar the 14s, D, G, and B, making that an A chord. So E to A basically is the way he's playing. So if you did it in chords, it'd be... Now that doesn't come in until it kind of comes part way through the bar. Um, it's, it's, it's on beat two that that starts. And then when you move up, move that up, that position up a half step to F, you're going to play the chord first, then again, then that bar, now that's B flat. Back, back, like that. So it's. On the F. Okay, so let me, let me play the whole solo in context. Oh, sorry, let me start again. Like that. You're gonna have to listen to it a lot because rhythmically it's kind of weird because he's starting like halfway through these bars uh, with little rests. So um, that's the solo. Um, it's 
like that, okay? I think my delay just died there. So just in time. So we're all wrapped up. That is all the parts to um, I Get Around by the Beach Boys. Enjoy it. And don't be afraid to try to learn the solo because it's not terribly hard from just trying to finger it that much. It's a rhythm thing, but it's an interesting, that very kind of Beach Boy sound it has. So um, there you have it. I Get Around by the Beach Boys.